Imagine leaving one of China's most powerful tech platforms, Baidu Maps, to chase dirt on living room floors. Why trade mapping entire cities for steering a device under couches? That was the gamble Cheng Jing made, and at the time, it looked anything but rational. Yet the company he built went on to become the world's top-selling robot vacuum brand by 2024, backed by billions in revenue and rising profits. This isn't just a story about appliances. It's about how rejecting startup convention turned an unlikely idea into a global business. Cheng Jing led Baidu Maps before he started Roborock. At Baidu, he built systems that helped millions find their way across China. His work was known in the tech world, but those years changed how he saw everyday problems. For him, navigation was not just about maps. It was about how things move in a space. At Baidu, this meant moving cars and cities. At home, it meant watching a robot vacuum miss spots as it cleaned. Others saw a weak product, but he saw bad data. If software could guide city traffic, it could guide a machine in a home. He started to see cleaning as a problem of data, not just strong motors. People were surprised by his career change. Moving from Baidu to a home appliance startup seemed strange. In 2014, robot vacuums were not popular. Many thought they were simple gadgets, but Chang saw a new challenge. In city maps, small mistakes were okay. In a bedroom, one mistake meant a robot would clean poorly. He realized that cleaning a room needed even better accuracy. This thinking set him apart from others. Most companies focused on building better hardware. Chain worked on software instead. He saw floors and furniture as things the robot needed to learn about. The best vacuum was not the strongest, but the smartest. This led Roborock to make different choices. While other companies used camera systems for navigation, Chang chose LiDAR. Cameras were cheaper, but struggled in the dark or with shiny objects. LiDAR didn't have these problems. It gave the robot a clear map, making everything work better. Roborock's focus was on what worked, not on what looked good. For Chang, leaving Baidu was not about losing status. It was about using what he learned in a new way. Good data made systems work well. Bad data made everything harder. He believed that in both city maps and home cleaning, accuracy made the biggest difference. Roborock was mostly unknown outside engineering groups. It became a top household robot brand in China, with help from Xiaomi. By the mid-2010s, Xiaomi was growing its Mi Home ecosystem, connecting many devices through one network at low prices. For small companies, Xiaomi offered more than investment. It provided a way to bring new technology into millions of homes. Roborock had strong engineering, but no way to reach buyers. Its navigation was advanced, but the market was full of cheap robot vacuums. Without recognition or distribution, Roborock risked being looked over. The technology could disappear if regular buyers never saw it. In 2014, Xiaomi invested about 20 million RMB and included Roborock in its supply and retail network. This partnership gave Roborock access to factories, reliable parts, and shelf space in Mi Home stores. It also offered Roborock instant exposure to Xiaomi's large online user base. The company now had a path to reach more people, but there was also a risk. Roborock could end up as just another background brand with Xiaomi's system. The turning point came in 2016. Roborock's first product appeared as the Mi Home Robotic Vacuum Cleaner. Inside it was called the S1, but it used Xiaomi's name. It was the first robot vacuum with LiDAR navigation at a lower price. Families who couldn't buy more expensive models could now afford it. Sales grew quickly. The machine was praised for how well it mapped and cleaned. Roborock's engineering was now known to more homes. There was a trade-off. Most buyers thought they had bought a Xiaomi product. Few people knew Roborock's name or linked it to the vacuum in their home. The partnership brought growth and steady sales, but Roborock stayed hidden. This changed in 2017, when Roborock launched the S5 under its own name. It used the same trusted mapping technology and now put Roborock at the front. The S5 raised over 10 million RMB within four hours of its crowdfunding launch. The market began to recognize Roborock as the maker. 
The company moved from being just a partner to building its own brand. Roborock was now seen not just as Xiaomi's supplier. People started comparing its products to global brands. What looked like dependence on Xiaomi was really a plan to use its network for scale. Roborock could focus on improving its technology, the part that would set it apart going forward. Roborock chose to invest in research over advertising because it believed engineering was its real brand. Each year, the company spent more than 9% of its revenue on R&D, much higher than most hardware firms. In the first three quarters of 2024, it spent 640 million RMB just on development. The idea was simple. Strong marketing might get attention at first, but only good products could build lasting trust. This thinking shaped how Roborock worked. Over half its staff were engineers. Most big appliance companies hire more for sales and marketing, but Roborock focused on building things itself. Hardware, software, motors, and brushes were all designed in-house. By doing this, Roborock kept tight control and could try new ideas that others missed. This approach was not without risk. Spending so much on research cut into short-term profits, and to some investors, Roborock looked slow. Other companies launched products quickly and relied on big ad campaigns, but Roborock took its time. A technical failure could cost them, but the results made a difference. Roborock's LiDAR navigation brought accurate mapping to robot vacuums, making cleaning more reliable. Reactive AI let robots see cables, shoes, and pet waste, solving common problems. The fiberized mopping lifted the mop when moving onto carpets, so rugs stayed dried. Every improvement came from real-world user problems. Recognition soon followed. Time Magazine named the Roborock S7 one of the best inventions of 2021. For the engineering team, this showed their hard work paid off. Their focus on small but important improvements helped set a new standard for home robots. Other brands focused more on advertising ran into trouble. Their products often broke down or didn't clean well. Many customers were disappointed and didn't buy again. Roborock relied less on ads and more on how well its products worked. Still, some wondered if this strategy could last. Few hardware firms keep spending so much on research. The question was whether Roborock could continue and stay profitable. In February 2020, Roborock went public on the star market in Shanghai, raising $640 million. This gave it more funding for research and showed the public trusted the company's approach. By 2024, Roborock was more than just an appliance maker. Its products were in over 170 countries and used in more than 15 million homes. The company held about 16% of global robot vacuum sales and 22.3% of total revenue in the category, making it the top-selling robot vacuum brand worldwide. For a company that started by solving simple navigation problems, this growth showed the strength of its focus on engineering. Growing at this size brought new problems. Roborock faced more competition, including patent lawsuits and more attention from regulators. Some customers worried about privacy, whether their home maps or cleaning schedules could be sent overseas. This was especially important as Roborock entered Europe and North America, where privacy laws are strict. Roborock addressed these concerns by processing data locally and storing maps on regional servers, including AWS and other local centers. The data was encrypted and followed rules like the European Union's GDPR. Trust became just as important as the products themselves. Showing respect for privacy became part of Roborock's growth plan. Roborock's product line also grew beyond robot vacuums. The company released stick vacuums, wet-dry vacuums, and a washer-dryer, all built on its strengths in motors and mapping software. This helped Roborock become a home robotics brand, not just a vacuum maker. The company also moved outdoors. In 2023, Roborock launched robotic lawnmowers that use LiDAR and cameras to map gardens and avoid obstacles like trees. The technology developed for indoor use was now applied to yards in Europe and North America, where outdoor robots are growing in demand. Roborock kept pushing forward. At CES in 2025, the company showed the Sorrow C70 with a robotic arm called OmniGrip. 
This machine could pick up small objects like socks or toys and remove them from its path, a step closer to full home automation. Roborock was now entering broader home robotics, not just cleaning devices. With more products, outdoor machines, and new object handling technology, Roborock was moving toward building a full home robotics system. Roborock's rise sends a clear message. Its success did not depend on fast marketing or quick updates. Instead, Roborock grew through strong engineering, smart partnerships, and careful attention to rules and privacy. This built a brand and a market position that others could not easily copy.